If you're going through life with no real clear defined goals, if you don't know what you want, if you're just kind of tracking along and hoping, wishing, as well as praying for the best to happen, you, my friend, are stuck in the matrix. If you are caught up in everybody's opinion, if you are always looking for other people's approval and validation, if you feel like you are never good enough, if you are constantly chasing the next reward, the next phone, the next car, the next house, the next relationship, the perfect relationship, then you are also stuck in the matrix. So long as you keep looking outside of yourself for things to get better, if you think that it's something out there that's going to make you feel happy, like once you achieve this goal, you will be fulfilled and happy forever, then you are also stuck in the matrix. Because the thing is that you can never be fulfilled by something externally. Only temporarily can you feel a hit of dopamine, a sense of pleasure, a fading sense of happiness, but not even true, real happiness. True and real happiness comes from progress towards a worthy goal. It's the journey that makes us happy. It's the actual experience, the adventure, not reaching the top of the hill. Once you're on top of the hill, the fun is about to end. It's the climb, it's the struggle and the hustle that you have to put in day in and day out that actually gives you a sense of fulfillment. So pick a road, pick a path, pick a climb that you will actually enjoy because that delusion that people have stuck in their heads where once upon a time, like one time at some point in the future, I will be happy because I'll have this and that is a complete and utter fake. It's just a lie. It's never going to happen. When you reach that so-called point of happiness, you'll notice that you're kind of just the same person you were, except maybe if you had to grow and improve yourself and if you had to go through some challenges, in that case, you'll carry those characteristics and that development of yourself with you. But other than that, it's the same guy or girl. It's the same person and you'll always be you. No matter what you do, you can never escape yourself. And this is what people try to do through watching TV, through excessively drinking, through basically numbing themselves. This is the biggest sign that you're stuck inside of the matrix. If you're constantly trying to numb yourself, numb yourself, numb yourself, you're just falling deeper and deeper into a trance and more and more, you're just becoming unconscious. If you want to wake up, you have to feel a little bit of pain, a little bit of resistance. And most people, they try to give up the TV. They try to stop playing games. They try to, you know, stop drinking or stop smoking weed. And then they keep falling back, falling back, falling back, because that resistance, being uncomfortable in being with yourself is a normal thing now. And so the whole society, the whole of society is geared towards helping that, continuing that and perpetuating that. If you want to end the cycle, if you want your life to be something extraordinary, step out, take the resistance, feel a bit of pain and be uncomfortable being with yourself. Meditate for two hours and feel how it feels to just sit in silence with yourself. That my friend is a real wake up that will get you out of the matrix.